Hey guys, Public here today and welcome to Let's Play Transport Fever. Now, I did a video of this previously, which was kind of more of a first look slash let's try out the game. It was a let's play, but it wasn't not really part of this series because I kind of messed everything up and I was kind of learning the game. But in this one, I know a little bit more uh, and we're going to continue doing the campaign. So I finished off the first one, which I actually mucked up in the previous. Again, you don't really need to watch a previous video. Just, just watch this one. So industrialization. Steel. That's the stuff progress is forged from. Everything is possible. I'm not going to read all this. Uh, right, so our goals or I guess things we can achieve during this is uh, Westinghouse plan, uh, plants should produce at least 8 minutes. Okay, you know what? We'll be able to read those when we're in the game. So <laughs> let's just get in the game and play. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's very much like uh, Transport Tycoon, Locomotion, Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, etc. You know, you manage a transport company heavily based on trains. Uh, it's like the sequel to tra uh, Train Fever, which I've done videos on before, which is all about trains. This is still, I think, heavily based on trains, but there's other forms of transport as well. Right, Mission Info. Uh, Pittsburgh, 1880, the stronghold of, of world steel production, the perfect time to invest in the steel and mechanical engineering industries. This will make sure that our company always has the uh, best iron horses in its stable. I don't know why I emphasized this so much, but I felt like it. Our friend George Washington, uh, Washington, no, George Westinghouse, sorry. Uh, I was just reading ahead, there was a George and there was a W and I went, Washington, uh, who revolutionized rail transport with the invention of the air brake, conducts his business from the town of Monroe. God, the text is so small. Like, it's so small even for me. I'm going to lean in Monroe. Monroeville, sure. Where he's researching electricity, he's offering us a stake in his company in return for us helping him to get ahead of his closest competitors and achieve a breakthrough uh, of his old alternating current system. Yeah, the UI in this game is super small. I'm playing it, I, I've got 4K monitors, but I'm playing at 1080p, so the window is really tiny. Um, one, that's one major criticism of this game, is the UI. And the UI of the of Train Fever as well was not good. This is also not good because it's just too small, uh, and there's no way to scale it up. Anyway, start mission. Uh, good, let's chuck that over there. So, uh, basically we can skip all that and say, connect Monroeville, I'm probably saying that wrong, Monroeville, uh, to the rail network and make sure that the workers find their way there. So, we got Monroeville over here. Okay, big circle. So we're going to connect that to the rail network, which I guess... Where's the rail network? Uh, and uh, Wait, build one passenger station in Monroeville. Oh, Jesus, can I speak properly? Monroeville and another in Pittsburgh Central. Oh, I guess there isn't one yet. And it wants me... Oh, okay. Because we don't have a train network yet. Pretty big. Uh, Pittsburgh Central, it wants the train station. So, all right, let's, um, <laughs> let's get on with that. So train station... Okay, it only cost me about four million. We've only got five million dollars, so let's uh, let's be smart about this. We could do a terminating station here in the city, which I think would make a lot of sense. That's going to be five hundred thousand right there, though, because it's it's so hilly. You know what? Let's also turn on our uh, little topography lines here, so we can see uh, topographic lines, contours. That's the one. Uh, <laughs> our contour. Maybe down here actually might be a better idea. Down by the water. If we go here, it's still going to cost us a hundred thousand. Um, which is not too bad. It's better than the other one. I don't... Do I want it as a terminus, though? Because I, I assume I'm going to need the trains to go somewhere else. Uh, I... Having not played this particular mission before, I don't know what's going to be best. I, I mean, ideally a train station, because then we can always, you know, pass by and, uh, and all that. So is this going to be... We need to make sure it's in Pittsburgh Central, though, as well. So I can put it there for 500,000... Okay, we got, we got 5 million, so I don't want to... Spent all my money destroying stuff. And because it's so uneven here, what about... Still 400,000. So it's 90... About 90,000 here. We could probably squeeze it in. But then, really, is there any point? Because the train... You know what? Let's just go terminate. 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 We'll just go here. Uh, oh, I, can I turn it smaller in smaller increments? Because that's too big. I'll put it... There. Hang on. If I don't destroy the house, I save about seventy thousand dollars. So let's go there, hundred and four thousand. Okay, then what road is this? Small street, a thousand, and that will just go to the station that terminates there, which I'm hoping is Pittsburgh Central. Yes, it is. Good. All right, so Monroeville, which I'm still not convinced I'm saying correctly, so I'm just going to keep saying it wrong, or maybe correctly. I don't know. Uh, now this one is there's no other town past it, so I don't think we're gonna need another a regular train station there. So we'll just get a terminating one there too. 
Uh, so this will go, because we'll probably bring the rail line alongside the road, because that's where it's going to be the, uh, the flattest, because there's a lot of hills around here. And the more hills, the more expensive the train line is going to be. So we're going to see if we can get this. So, oh, jeez, that's really hilly there. 400,000. Because I want it. I mean, it doesn't have to go right in the center, but I, I would like it to. 400,000. Jeez. We can get about 200,000. 95,000 there. But we will have to destroy a house. Unless we put it over there. Maybe if we just put it there. That's pretty good. 124. Okay, let's do that. Uh, so this, we'll have to cross over the road at some point, but that's okay. So, uh, built one passenger station in Monroeville and another in Pittsburgh Central. I have a passenger line train commute between the cities. Also set up lines with horse-drawn carriages in both places so the passengers can reach the city from the station. Okay, so we'll get the train line in first because that's going to be the most expensive and then we'll see how much money we have left over. Uh, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to make sure that this is going to be building it how I want it, not like sinking it into the ground and that. 90,000. This is going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive, but I think we should be okay. So if we come around, hang on, let's zoom in here a little bit. Thankfully, we can. I, this is something I wish, um, as a feature I really like is sort of tracing along the side of roads. Really wish like City Skylines had this feature because I think Sim City had it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go out that way. It's gonna, it's gonna be really slow rail. Well, not slow. To be fair, we're what what year? We're eighteen eighty, so the trains aren't fast anyway. Uh, we're gonna cross over there because we need to be on the other side of the road anyway, and then we'll sort of come back in and join the road. I don't really want to be following it like that. I didn't really want that bit like that. If I'm gonna be honest, it's just kind of stuck like that. It'd be makes much more sense to just do that. Really, it should have just curved in a little bit less. But I'll try and make it because we don't want to look at that road. We don't want to follow it exactly, but close enough to the road that um, we can keep it fairly cheap because this area's already been terraformed to a certain degree. Uh, so if we go... Maybe... Because we need to get all the way over there. 60,000. Hang on. You go there. 16. So we're going to have to start getting over... Because our transaction is all the way down over there, so we don't want to be too close to this road anymore. 109... It's only 45,000 if I go there, so let's do that instead of 109,000. That's pretty cheap. It's not bad. So we'll just cross over that road, even though it's like the end of a road. It doesn't matter. 19,000. Okay, then that should fit in nicely. Cool. All right, so now we get got to get a train depot, which I think I'll put over here just because it's a big empty space and it'll be quite, uh, quite handy. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to build the connections. So the train depot is where we buy trains from and we like uh, sort of set them up and all that. Uh, so I want it to be able to go both directions here. Like that. Oh, future proofing. Look at me go. Um, we're going to get that's the depot, isn't it? Yep. There we go. So this is going to attach on the end. Right there. It looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, but I think it's good. Now we're going to buy a train. So we need a passenger train. Uh, so we're going to go buy train. Uh, we can buy an expensive one that goes uh, 60 kilometers an hour, 45 or 40. See, I think going faster could be good, but it's also going to be much more expensive to run and to buy. So why don't we go... Should we even start with... No, let's start, let's start with the middle one. Let's not go super expensive. But not super cheap either. So, now these, 45, that's double the price. But yeah, we'll just get these ones then. We get a couple. I think we're only going to need two. I don't think it's going to be super busy. Right, so set line, new line from Pittsburgh over to Monroeville. Ooh, yeah. Right, so that's going to go. That's just going to run back and forth now. Uh, or not. Whoops, I did that wrong. Wait, no, did I? Hang on. Oh, no, it's because I'm paused. That's why. That's why it looks like I did it wrong. I didn't do it wrong. It's just because it's paused. So that should start... Uh, Pulling out of here now. Yeah, there it is. So that'll start pulling out and start doing its thing. Right. Also set up lines with horse-drawn carriages in both places. So we just want to get, you know, horse-drawn carriages around the city here. Which I don't actually know how to do. I haven't done that before. So let's find that out. I assume it's this one. Road. Bus slash tram stop. I guess that makes sense. So I guess we'll go... So we can kind of see where this covers. It's actually got a huge coverage. So we only want, we only want a few stops, really. Maybe one there. One over here, and maybe one there. Let's do that. Then, I assume we'll want a, a road depot. Yeah. We can put this over here. There's a dead end road. 
Actually, let's do it on this one. Ah, there you go. Uh, cool. Buy road vehicles. Uh, American horse cart. Hang on, we need passenger ones. So that can take passengers only four. This can take five. Uh, that. So either one of these. I think we'll just go with four. I don't, I don't think we're going to need... We'll get five of them as well. New line. All right, so this one's going to go there, down to there, uh, up over to that one, over there, and then didn't I have another one? Or is that it? I think I didn't really pay attention to what side of the road I put these on, uh, which is actually kind of annoying because I... I didn't realize that was an issue. I thought it would just place it on both sides of the road. Uh, okay. Uh, they're already starting off, which is unfortunate. Hang on. Remove, 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 remove. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Hang on. Uh, you all need to go back to <laughs> go back to the depot. Yeah, like I said, I haven't done road vehicles yet, so go back to the depot. So they'll start heading back, which is good. Let me. F didn't realize. So we're driving on the right hand side of the road. Did not realize that. Uh, is there an easy way to close all these? I just have to do that. I guess I have to do that. Uh, right, we have to pay attention to what side of the road. Because if we're looping around... So this is on the wrong side of the road, for example. It's 300 bucks to delete them. Not too bad. Uh, this... There's one over here somewhere, isn't it? No? I can't see them now. No. When you're in bulldoze mode, you can't see them. That seems counterintuitive. Uh, this one is also on the wrong... I put them all on the wrong side of the road, actually. Because we want them... Uh, oh God, where's the other one? There. Again, that's on the wrong side of the road. It's not particularly good. Uh, let's see. Then this one as well. There. Okay, so all of those, I guess, do they just take time to delete? Is that what's happening? What is this? I assume, yeah, okay, is this progressing? Cool. Um, right, let's do this properly. Because uh, did not, yeah, did not realize that that would be a problem. So what we want to do because we have, okay, so we want to put it all on the right hand side of the road. Or the, we want to place them the way we're going. So we're going to go there. That covers pretty much all that space. And we're going to go back up here again, just opposite that one. So on that side of the road this time, instead of the other one. And then again, I mean, I guess we could have done the loop going the other way. That probably would have worked. Do I want, do I want another one? Do I need another stop? Probably not. Probably just a three, actually. I think we really needed the other one because that pretty much covers the entire place. Yeah, that's probably fine. Right, let's do that. So let's go here. Uh, select line, new line. I'm going to have to delete that other one too. There, to there, to there. That's better. That looks like a nice loop. <laughs> That's much better. Cool. So they'll all start doing that. Should be good. Uh, then, I want to... I don't know what I want to do. I think that's good. That's good for this place. I mean, if they could spread out a little bit, that'd be... That'll be absolute tops, but that's okay. So that'll start going around. I guess we want to do the exact same thing over here now. Uh, oh, yeah, I actually wanted to delete that line, didn't I? Uh, this one. Uh, delete. There we go. Cool. I guess I should probably name the lines too, but we'll get to that. So over here, uh, by the train stop. So I guess this one's just going to be a U-turn anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll go that side just on the right. So we'll come up right-hand side. That'll cover all of that. Then we'll come around this way. And then it'll come around this way. Cool, that should be enough. And then we'll get a little road depot, uh, which can go out, probably out by the train station, because why not? Can I get it on the same intersection? I can, but I, I don't want to destroy the other... I don't want to destroy whatever the hell that thing is. Because I want to say... I want to not spend a lot of money here. Uh, I guess we... Oh, okay, that just built. <laughs> I was going to put it right there, but that literally just built. So I guess I'll put it there. Cool. Now, um, buy road vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. Select a line or set line, new line. Go one, uh, two, and three. Cool. Yeah, so just as a U turn there. Perfect. Right, so those will get going. Um, now, at, in this task, a medal can be earned. Okay. So connect. To the rail network and make sure that the workers find their way there. All right, so I, I guess we just wait because now we we do have all these things going. There's people on the train, but we got three passengers on the train. Uh, whether we make money or not, don't know. But uh, these probably also could have been a little further apart, but I guess not. 
Um, also set up lines, hold drawn carriages, yeah. So, and have a passenger train commute between the cities. Yeah, I'm doing that. Oh, oh, right, right, right. We just have three out of a hundred. Okay, yep, fair enough. All right, so we've got a bunch of people waiting there now. I was like, I was like, is there something else I have to do that I'm missing? No, we're just, we're just playing the waiting game now, which I am more than happy to play. So this guy is rocketing across the country there with three out of 28 passengers. I wonder how many we've got over here. We have one. I assume that means we have one person waiting. Uh, three? Maybe. Four? Maybe that's what that means. This one has a lot more, though, which is interesting. Uh, if I can click on that. Residence? No, hang on. <laughs> no, no, no. This. 70 passengers waiting. Ah, right. That's a problem because we don't... We only have one line. Now, if I knew how to uh, get signals to work... What I'm going to do, I am going to build... Let's, we should probably double track this whole thing then. Which, ah, the way I've done this is actually going to be quite hard to double track. Because if we get to this point, the road's actually in the way. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't build this in a smart way for double... Well, what we can do is we can just have some overtake lanes. Which, the other game, Train Fever, did teach me... Well, not overtake, but like little waiting or passing sections of track. So you don't have to double track the entire thing. But you can still make it possible. Now, the way we do this is... Oh, God, I don't know. Hang on. So we got path, signal, and waypoint. Use for uh, rerouting a line can be added to a line like a station. No, I don't want to add it like a station. I want to have signals. Path signal. Used as a normal path signal to regulate traffic or as a one-way signal. Oh, my God. This is not really clear as to how this works. So, well, obviously, this is a shared bit of track, right? So, only one train could be on this at a time. So, really, we just need the signals on this bit. So, if we go... If we're driving on the right-hand side, I guess we'd go like this. So, we go one there. Because we're going to go this way on this track, right? Then we have another one there. Then on the other side, we have one there. So it's like saying if it's clear to go through. Uh, what is this? Okay, yeah. I'll do that in a second. Hang on. Slow down time. I, I want to figure this out so I can get some more trains running. Um, and one there. Is that how it works? That's just my guess. Because we have so many people trying to use a train. That is definitely worth us trying, <laughs> trying to get it to work. Let's get another little passing track here. Or a little overtake or whatever. Whatever. I, want to, I don't know what it's called. It has a name. I don't know. So that'll go there. Then we're going to get the signals. Which I'm going to, again, guess we're going to go like this. That. And over here. This. And that. So that'll go on that side. So on the way back, it should stay on this. Okay, let, well, let's see. Hang on. Let's see if we can get another train. Because that's really the test of this, isn't it? Uh, okay, so we'll get another train. By train. Did not realize this would be such a popular line. Maybe we should get a faster train? No, we'll get the same train because otherwise I think it's going to just cause unnecessary issues. Uh, now, this can go up to 80 kilometers an hour, but I think I'll just get the same thing again. Uh, this will go on line one. So let's see what happens because this will be interesting. So it's going to go out. It's going to go... Oh, it's going this way first, apparently. Okay. I thought it was going to... I guess that's not one. Um... All right, so that train is coming down this single section of track. This one then should go to the right and wait there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, I'm not mistaken. I, I'm a genius. Oh, actually, it's it's kind of common sense, but to be honest, there probably should be some instructions for that kind of, for that. Uh, so now we've got two trains running on the line. Uh, they do have to wait for each other. It's probably worth getting another little bay here. Um, eventually. It would be worth double tracking the whole thing, but I don't want to spend all my money on that. I'm just going to get one here, just so we can get the trains hopefully running a little... And you'll notice I'm making these absolutely colo colossal? Co I was about to say it weirdly. Uh, colossal, because you never know. Might have a bigger train later on, so who knows. So there, and there. Oh, wow, this is really dug down over here. Look at this. Uh, there, and then there. Cool. So that's just another little one. So we got three of them along the track. Probably should have them right by the stations. I feel like that would make more sense, but... Let's not worry about that right now. Uh, okay, so we need to go... Oh, jeez, look how many people are here. This is 112 people. These can not take that many. These can only take 28 people. Which is not great. But 
they should be pretty profitable. Oh, hang on. We'll check the other train, because that's the one that's actually doing well. Oh, well, not doing well, but it's been around longer. Uh, profitable? 88,000. Not hugely profitable, but it is slightly. Okay, so here we go. Here's the test. You should stop up here. Yes. Good, and that will come through. We'll pass. I think it might also be worth just getting more. Th anyway, what is my next thing? Anyway, produce machines. I really we gotta we gotta do that too. Okay, uh, ensure Westinghouse Machines Factory starts production and brings the first machines to its consumers. Okay, where are you? You're over here. So you need what is that? Planks and steel. And where do I get that? I guess over here. You turn. Oh, geez, this is a whole production chain. You turn. I guess iron. It's not telling. Oh, hang on. I'll do it this way. Iron and coal into steel. So we can get steel to that. Where do we get iron and coal from? Probably over here. That's coal. I see him. Where's an iron mine? That looks like planks. Yeah. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. no. This is logs to planks. Jesus. This is iron ore. Oh my god. Produce machines. Jesus. Okay. And then that's... Okay. Right. So it's probably worth our time, instead of doing a freaking train lines everywhere, because that's going to cost us billions of dollars, uh, we'll actually get some trucks to... Good. We did that. We'll get some trucks up here to deliver logs down to there to turn it into planks, and then we could probably build a row or just keep them going on here. And do Actually, no. They've got to go a long way for the planks, don't they? That, oh, logs go there. We could probably do a train line. That would probably be worth doing a train line. This will just be vehicles. Oh, not vehicles. It'll just be trucks. Um, so, let's get a little truck station up here. Okay. Right about there. 20,000. Not bad. Then we'll get another little truck station down over here. To service this guy. Uh, about there. Cool. And then we'll get a road depot as well. Uh, I guess just roughly in the middle. Mm, no, I guess if we're going to go from here first, we might as well just put it next to this, because that's where they're going to start. So I guess it makes sense. Uh, so we'll go from that. Right, so we need to carry logs. So, by road vehicle. So let's make sure we can carry logs. So this carries uh, logs, the first one. Don't know why it took me so long to see. This just carries a bit more. So, you know what? Let's get the one that carries more. We're going to need a few of these, because... It's going to get busy. Uh, now, I want to make sure that these only take logs because they might... Oh, hang on. They might end up taking planks on the way back, which I don't want them to do. So just go logs. Okay. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of logs. A little bit of logs. All right. Select line. I always think it's select. New line uh, from here. That will go... We're going to have full load. And then we'll head down over to there and back again. And that's it. Easy. I should probably name these lines at some point, but... Whatever. Okay, so they're going to start heading there. So that should start producing... That is the log place, right? Uh, production zero. But once we get those trucks there, they should start producing logs. Okay, so that will produce logs. Then we'll get planks from there. Iron ore from here. So it's probably worth doing a train line for both of these places here. So what we'll do is go train... Uh, what is this? Freight station. I wonder if this can get to both of them if we go here. So we just get one train station for both things. That would be ideal, right? Maybe if we build a road. Small country road. What if we do this? Uh, raise and lower. What if I just do that? 62,000 to build a road. But it should mean that I save money on a train station. Yeah, see, look at this. This gets both of them. Although, having said that, saving money, I do have to pay for the excavation this. All right, that'll go there. This I probably actually want to upgrade, which I, I should have... Ooh. No, you know what? We probably don't need to do that now. So that will go from there. So that will get the planks and uh, iron ore. So then iron ore needs to go to there along with... Co oh, jeez. This is a freaking thing and a half, eh? Hey? Uh, <laughs> this is a thing and a half. So this is going to come all the way through here. That's a lot of money for that train line. We want to keep it level. So right here, that's keeping it pretty level. Ooh, hang on. No, it's not. That's really bad, actually. Well, it's keeping it level, but we want to not excavate the land as much because it makes it way cheaper. 
We will make the trains a little bit slower going along this track, but it'll be more worth it. So that's only 55,000 now, as opposed to like 300,000. Okay, so then I'm going to go across here like that. No, you know what? Let's build this in smaller sections because we need to probably save a bit of money here. Uh, ooh, that's even too much. Okay, go there. Bring that up. 24,000. You beauty. Across. Ooh, that's going to be... I think that's going to be expensive no matter what we build it as. I'm going to make it a, a bit of a nicer bridge too. Okay, so then... Uh, we want to go... Freight station. Now, can, again, can this get to both of them? Because that'll be ideal. Oh, it's just out of range. <laughs> Alright, what if we go... Small. I'm going to do a small country road here because I don't want to spend a lot of money on roads. Do that. 35,000. I'm assuming that this works, by the way. I don't actually know. But I assume if they get highlighted, they're in range, right? Because that makes sense to me. Uh, hang on, now that... So they're both in range there. So if we do that. Okay, then get the train over to there. 1.38 million. It's also probably worth... Getting more trains on this line here. Because we have a lot of people trying to use that. Or getting more carriages. Yeah, actually probably up in the capacity makes more sense. Okay, so that will come around like that. 72,000. It's a bit of a funky train line the way I've done that. But I think it's going to work. So, I think this is producing... Is this producing stuff now? No, it's not. Uh, what's going on over here? Are you guys doing stuff? No. You're just waiting here. Production 14. It is producing stuff. I think it's just super slow. Which, I guess in that case, I probably didn't need so many of these guys. Hmm. Because they just appear to be costing me money. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to... We'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, where is the train that's closest to the depot? Because I'll send that one back. This one here. Go back to the depot, please. Uh, and then I'm going to see if I can add a couple more carriages to it. And just pretty much double the capacity of the train. Because I think that makes sense. I don't really know how to edit trains. Because I tried to do it earlier. I'm not really... Okay, the slow down time is all here. Uh, actually, just pause it. I'm not details, finance, I think if we go to here, and then that's cell train, don't click on that, clone, set line, how do I, I don't know how to add train one, yes, edit, that's just the name of it, it's super confusing how this works, and I'm not sure, buy, maybe go to buy trains and go here and just do this, am I, is it going to go to that, oh it is, Perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if it's going to slow down the train at all. Waiting for free path. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I think it's going to go all the way back up to the top because I think I set that as number one over there. All right. So that's going 20 kilometers an hour, but I think that's just because it's pulling out of the station. It is speeding up. So I think the max speed of this was only 40 anyway. So if we can hit 40, I'll be happy with that because that makes a lot more sense getting this train. Double the capacity. Oh, 45. Okay, perfect. Um, where's the other train? It should be all the way up here. I'll get this one to go back as well. Which unfortunately just does kick everybody off the train. Uh, actually, how do I view uh, lines? Here we go. So all my lines are making money except for my freaking logging line, which turns out to be a mistake. I did too many vehicles on it. Um, <laughs> all the other ones are doing quite well. They are making a profit, which is really, really good. Um... We did have someone just go sell some logs, so that's good. Uh, then, so okay, no, I think I think they're going now. It was a bit slow, but maybe it's picking up pace now. I think it is. Uh, I think it's because they were all backed up there. I think it's going now. So, yep, there you go. Look at that. I think we should have a much more consistent flow of uh, logs going over here now. Right, let's get because we're going to need another train on this line, which is unfortunate because it's going to cost me a lot of money, which is making me wonder if I should bother upgrading this train or not now. Because uh, this one, look at that, 56 out of 56 passengers. How many people are there now? Only 32. Actually, it might not be worth upgrading this train anymore because I think we only need one big train. Uh, how do I set the, I don't know how to set, I think I have to go back to the, I don't know how to stop it going back. It's already going back. Oh, no, set line, line one. 
There you go. Don't bother going back in because I think that train's going to fulfill the demand. Uh, and I think if I push it too far, it won't be worth it. Hopefully, this is actually going to go to this stop and not the other one first. So let's see. Will it fill up? Mm, blah. Yeah, there you go. 28. Cool. Cool. Because we also need to be... Because if I spent more money on that carriage, I wouldn't have any money to get a train over here. Which we already... I don't think we really have enough money for a train over here. Which is unfortunate, but we kind of need it, so... Alright, now this is going to go over here somewhere. This can go like this. Let's join up like that. 8,000. Cheap as chips. And go from there to... There... Okay. Cool. Right, now, can I actually afford a train? Because they are pretty damn expensive. Uh, <laughs> uh, 317,000. I don't know if I can afford... Because we're going to need uh, iron. Or well, I guess we should... Uh, I guess we should do logs first. Because we're already doing that. So, might be worth delivering the logs. Oh, but that can't do anything. No, no, no. Let's get the iron. Oh, I'm not thinking that. No, let's do... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so, that's 45. Uh, let's go... I guess we'll buy that. Because we need it. Right, let's do... So the gondola does iron and all that. So we could do iron. But I guess we're already doing the logs. So we might as well start doing that one, right? Logs, steel, planks. Okay, buy this. 218,000. Jesus. Uh, I'll take out a loan of 3 million. Hell yeah. Thanks. I don't know if that made that trade too big though. Anyway, this is only going to take logs. No, it's not. Sorry, it's going to take planks. Sorry, I'm the idiot. Planks. Thanks. I don't know how long it's going to have to wait here to uh, fill up, but we'll see. Uh, new line. There. Full load. And then there. Okay. Let's see if there's enough. If we're delivering enough, because I don't, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take this to fill up. Details. Nope. Overview. 0 of 28. It does look like we have some stuff happening. I think, because they're definitely selling logs. And they're in there. Oh, yeah, there's, plank, there's planks here. I don't know if they're delivering over here, though, are they? No, 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 we got one. One on 28. They are going. They're going. Good! Yes! So it is working. Just very, very slowly. Now, we do have enough money to actually... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to upgrade this. We're going to have trains waiting here all the time, so... Can I go the other way? Platform length, number of tracks. Second street connection. 80 meet. Mm. Okay, I want it on the other side because I feel like if we're going to get up... Oh, okay. No, no, no. I see. It just sort of evenly goes. But we can only ever get up to five here, which I don't think is going to be a problem. 152,000. Let's do that. Oh, did that just kick the train out or did the train actually fill up? No, it kicked the train out. Damn it. Stupid game. Um, all right. So <laughs> that's annoying. I'm going to get this to just run through like this up to that point. Now, this doesn't actually connect. Uh, no. Uh, I guess what I'll do is actually connect it here. Too much curvature. Alright. There then. So then I can still come to both tracks. Um, and then this one doesn't really need to connect to the other one because it'll just join in like that. Okay, so then we're going to want to get some signals set up here. I'm, I'm totally getting into this now. This is good. Uh, so, we're going to want to do... like do. I guess here is where we're going to want them on the right-hand side, isn't it? And this is where they're going to come in from the left. Although, we don't have a transfer over to the other side here. Hang on, we need, a, uh, we need another track. We need one to go from about here to into there. I think it's getting too complicated for the game. Hang on. So that will go... So that's fine, because this one here... Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Get rid of that signal. Uh, let's try this again. Let's go... We need a transfer, like, here somewhere. Too much curvature? Really? All right. Go this way a little bit. Into... There. Okay. It's a bit of a mess of a track, but that's fine. So then here is where we'll have one that side and one that side. And then at the end as well. One that side and one that side. So then it should stay on the right-hand side, I think. Well, the train's coming back, so we'll see if it uh, goes the right way. So it should go to the right. I don't know if it... How, if it up, yeah, there you go. It's going on the right. Perfect. And that will close. That one will open. 
Cool. Yeah, no, that, that totally works. Perfect. Right, we're going to want another little section probably up here somewhere. And then we'll eventually get into get in the second train. But before that, we need to get a couple of double track sections. Bup, bup. Bup, bup. And bup, bup. That's the sound I have to make too. And then, so we'll get one there and maybe one more over here somewhere. Whoops, hang on. Too much curvature. Wait, hang on. Uh, so it'll go there. Probably here, actually. Oh, or we just... No, you know what? Let's just double this. No, actually, no. This doesn't need to be doubled, I don't think, the station. Because this just drops it off. It's not really doing much else here other than just dropping off goods. So we'll get a double track just before the station. But not into the station. Because I don't think there's any point. Like that. And I th is that too close? That's definitely too close. Whoops. My bad. My bad. All right, you go in there. Perfect. I think it's a bit looks a bit glitchy, but that's fine. Perfect. Yeah. Das ist gut. Oh, we've got some new vehicles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there and there. So they go the right way. There and there. Oh man, I'm get I'm getting good at this now. There and there. And then there and there. Cool. Right. So that is. Three sections where they can sort of pass each other. Cool. Thank you for the new vehicle mention. Um, now, we're going to want to get uh, the iron. So, we're going to buy a train. Should we go for a more expensive train or should we just keep doing the same one? We keep doing this one. Maybe we should get a faster one. It is a lot more money. No, let's keep it cheap. Keep it cheap. For now. Uh, okay, so this is going to have to be the gondola for the iron ore. Yep. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get four of those, I think, for now. Iron ore. Iron ore. Iron ore and iron ore. Uh, new line. So this is going to go from here. Full load. Uh, and then go to here. It's actually technically the same line as the other one. Which I... Yeah, I could have used the same line. Because it's exactly the same direction. So, let's see if this works. That train goes there. It'll probably take a while for iron ore to start filling in. But, uh... Oh god, look at those planks go. It fills up immediately. How's this train going? Zero. But it, I think it will go. It should start going soon. Now, once it like once the game recognizes the train, that's kind of it is kind of like transport tycoon, you know. Like uh, it, you have to have the station and service it before it starts going. Like, oh, actually, we gotta we gotta do stuff. So this has got a lot of logs waiting. We could probably get some more road vehicles, but I think we've got a good balance going between the, the train and that. Uh, so you are still waiting. Oh, you got two. So it's going. It is going. Right now, we're gonna have a look at the coal because we need to get coal over here as well. Uh, which I believe was over here. Uh, coal. Okay, so... It's probably worth doing a train line as well. Just so we can get it in there quicker. And we have... I think we have enough money to do it too. So let's uh, let's do that. Tra no, not train depot. I want, I want a station. I want a station! Right, which way? We're going to have to freaking cross all these roads. So it's getting messy over here. It is definitely getting messy over here now with the, all the train tracks. Not ideal land here for a train station, by the way. Maybe maybe we'll do it this way, actually. Because that will connect up there. Perfect. And then we just bring it sort of around this way. I wonder if we should maybe go, like, over it? Well, I kind of want to go through it like this, right? I assume we'll need signals here. Although, the game seems to do that itself. It's usually only when you have multi-tracks. Unless we just do... I feel like doing multiple signals is going to... You know what? Let's just let's just do that. Oh, I'm not convinced that that's not going to crash, but we're going to do it. Uh, so this will come down like this. Okay. Or not. Uh, that. And then... Hang on. Swoop in. Like that. And that should be okay. I'm pretty sure you don't need signals on that kind of stuff. As far as I'm aware. Now, our depot's all the way over here. I think I will just use it. There's no point in just buying another one. We'll just get one from here. Uh, so we're going to buy a train. going to buy the same train. Uh, this one here. And... Let's go... Buy. And then, so coal. I think it's the same as the gondola. Yeah, coal. So one, two, three, four... Make sure this is coal. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Okay, cool. Then, set up a line. This time... Oh, hang on. New line. From 
there, right, full, and then to there. So this should, we, we're crossing a few train lines here, but I'm hoping it should be okay. Right, so that one's going. So now we're getting the logs, we're getting the, the iron and the coal. Then we got to deliver from here to there with the, the steel. And then we can start producing machines or whatever the hell this thing does. Machine factory. <laughs> machines, yes! Okay, so then this will obviously just be road vehicles because it's quite a short little stop. I'm wondering, like, it's so close together, it almost looks like they don't need a delivery because oh god what, what am i looking for because we can put a thing here where it joins them together so i wonder if we even need to join before i put any vehicles here i want to see if they can just deliver because now that we built that road it looks like they can just deliver to each other right so this is just getting a pile of iron ore which is good uh oh yeah i've realized a problem with this train is not it's not a huge problem it's just that it has to go up here turn around then go back because it can't, it can't turn onto that track from there but that's fine so we'll just pass that train no problem signals appear to be working so far i i think as far as i'm aware because i have tried to put trains on the same track before without signals and they do just stop if there's another train in their way uh but it might actually end up stopping like here or there when there's a train on that track let's see what it does because we have a train coming along now. That one might even wait there. We'll see. Or well, this might wait. Yeah, that's going to have to wait a long time. So I'm wondering, maybe we go... Signals. There and there. Okay, then that one waits there, there and there. So then these are really close together. So this train will wait. Why are there only two things? I thought I put four on this train. Oh, no, no, I did. For some reason, only... <laughs> that was weird. I only showed a few of them. All right, so we've done we've done double signals here, which just means they can stop closer, which I'm hoping also doesn't break anything. If, especially if I get more trains on this line, I hope it's still okay. I, th I think it's smart enough to sort of work itself out. Um, anyway, so this is going up here, getting all the coal, which is now actually waiting for it. The amount of time we spent trying to get the train over here, it's, uh, it's actually going quite well. Right, let's have a look at the lines. Uh, line 5 is not making money. That's the... Planks line, which is interesting. Uh, line four, that's only just started. I think I think it should be okay. So line, yeah, that's the one delivering planks. I guess because it's not fast enough, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, okay, so that's gonna start bringing the coal in here, and then that can start producing stuff, which is really really good. Uh, so it's coming back. Uh, we're kind of just waiting for that to happen. The train stations seem to be holding up pretty well. There's still a good number of passengers there, but not too many. This train is heading up with 39 or 56. Yeah, it's definitely worth not getting four carriages on each train. Probably would have been a better, better idea to get three carriages on each train. Uh, but I think we're good. I do think we're good. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part here. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty fun little game. It, it's really interesting, especially um, it really brings back to sort of locomotion and transport tycoon vibes. I'm really enjoying it. But next part, we'll start producing those machines now that we have the coal on the way. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see whether or not this can just send stuff over there without trucks. Because like I said, if we put a truck depot there, we could technically just deliver to itself and it would just go between them, right? Uh, so I'm not actually sure how that's going to sort of unfold. But, now that we're delivering that, this guy has coal. And let's see what it's going to do. Production 6. I'm interested to see. It is dumping the stuff there, so I don't think it's going to auto-deliver. So we're going to have to do that ourselves. But that's fine. Uh, that means we get some machines built next time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. But I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.